This video describes the EMS Tech self unloading system for bulk carriers. Unlike traditional bulkers, self unloaders are not as reliant on shore based unloading systems. The self unloading ship comprises a series of holds that are separated by bulkheads. The holds typically have two series of openings aligned on the port and starboard sides of the ship. The ship's holds use gravity feed to discharge the load through their base. The flow from each of the openings is controlled by actuation of a gate. Each of the gates is independently controlled with hydraulic actuators or cylinders. A conveyor passes underneath each row of gate openings. Each gate is fitted with a pair of shear plates that meter the flow onto the tunnel conveyor. As the gates are opened, the shear plates define the cross section of deposited material. The surface angle is defined by the shear plates on the top and the angle of repose on the side. The feeder gate provides the operator with the means of accurate rate control while minimizing dusting and the risk of spillage to the tank top. Material is simply pulled from below the hopper opening at a controlled rate. For larger lump material or poor flowing cargoes, the operator simply increases the gate opening to allow larger lumps to pass or prevent stable arches from forming over the opening. The discharge rate is controlled by adjusting the belt speed. This is particularly attractive for applications demanding varied discharge rates with poor flowing cargoes. The operator can stop and restart the belt with the gate open. Material flowing onto the tunnel conveyors makes its way to the stern of the vessel. A smaller pair of transfer conveyors directs the flow to the center of the ship. One of the most important and innovative parts of the self-unloading system is the sea loop elevator. The sea loop elevator consists of inner and outer belt loops. The speed of the belts is synchronized so material entering at the bottom is sandwiched between them and carried to the deck level. The belt separation is exaggerated here for clarity. The material leaves the sea loop elevator and drops onto the boom conveyor. The boom conveyor is typically capable of luffing through an angle of 18 degrees. The boom typically slews through an angle of 90 degrees to both port and starboard sides of the vessel. The mooring structure for self unloaders tends to be quite simple and light in comparison to that required for mobile grab cranes or continuous ship unloaders. While the receiving hopper is traditionally fixed to the wharf, a rail mounted mobile hopper is illustrated here. Mobile hoppers are particularly useful when working with a variety of bulkers or hybrid self unloaders. The hopper is moved into an appropriate position and the discharge boom slewed into position over top of it. Although shown open here for clarity, the discharge conveyor is typically covered. This reduces both dust and the trail of spill that's common with grab based discharge systems. The receiving hopper can also include dust reduction equipment. This hopper is fitted with a bar type grizzly to stop tramp iron from entering and damaging the receiving or plant systems. In this example, the in-haul conveyor leads to a stacker reclaimer system, a common site at thermal generating stations around the world.